Welcome to Apache Spark tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use Apache Spark on Ubuntu 22.04 development. You should have Java 8, 11, 17 or above to use Apache Spark 3.5.1 for development on Ubuntu 22.04 operating system. So make sure that you have Java already installed. Next, we will see how to download Apache Spark. And this is the link to Apache Spark homepage. Apache Spark is very popular in memory data processing engine for processing the data at very large scale on the cloud as well as in-house cluster. Apache Spark is used for processing large amount of data such as shopping cart website or data originated from any other website or IoT application and so on. So uh, in today's world, our data is being generated by many different sources and companies are using this data to analyze the behavior of users and uh, get insight of their data. Apache Spark is very popular among the developers and it is being used by the companies for large scale data processing. Apache Spark can be used for processing the batch and streaming data. It is also used for SQL analytics and it is also used in data science and machine learning projects. Apache Spark application can be developed using Python, SQL, Scala, Java and R. For this tutorial, we will use Python for writing some of the sample example and running it onto the Apache Spark cluster. We will be downloading the latest version of Apache Spark and installing onto the Ubuntu 22.04 operating system. The latest version of Apache Spark is 3.5.1 and it is pre-built with the Apache Hadoop 3.3. Download, click here and the download will Click here and uh, this file will be downloaded on your computer. I already downloaded this file in my downloads directory. So uh, let me delete this extracted directory and I will show you how you can extract and use this star.gz file for running your spark code so right click it open in open with archive manager and this archive manager will be used to extract this tar gz file t gz file so it is extracted successfully in this directory go inside this directory and these are the directories inside the Apache Hadoop, sorry, these are the these are the directories under the Apache Spark 3.5.1, and we will be interesting into the bin directory. So in the bin directory, we have executable files such as uh, PySpark, Yeah, this is PySpark, which we will be using to run our spark code uh, you should open a terminal for simplicity i will right click and open select the open terminal so this terminal is open and i can see these are the files uh, i will check the java version so java 17.0.10 is already installed 
in the video description of this tutorial i will provide you the link to learn the steps for installing jdk 17 on ubuntu 22.04 to start the spark or type pi spark so basically we are going to write the python code into the spark shell pi spark now you can see it is uh, it is started a uh, spark context web ui at the port 4040 so let's open this port and here you will find the details about the spark cluster and the jobs being executed on the server so we have jobs stages storage environment and the executor details so you can see this uh, is ubuntu machine and i have used the open jdk and the version is 17.0.10 and these are the uh, parameters which is used for is starting this uh, Apache Spark cluster. Write some of the code. So, first of all, we need to import the Spark context from PySpark. you can simply copy and paste i will provide the example as well so this is uh, importing the spark context so spark context is necessary for uh, doing the spark data processing in the future tutorials i will teach you the api of apache spark where you will learn the spark context and uh, different uh, apis of spark so basically we are creating a rdd with this sc dot paralyze and list is hello world so uh, this is creating a rdd and uh, we will be using the data dot map and using the lambda function and count the each count the occurrence of each character in this uh, text and uh, now we can print the count of each character in the hello world text so you can see l is appear three times o two times r one r h e w and d each one one time now uh, we will see the spark ui and here you will be you can see that uh, three jobs is completed so these are the list of three jobs if you go to the each job you will be able to see how the tag is created and how it is executed later you will learn how what is tag and how a spark clips creates the tag and how to, it executes the jobs then we have second job and this is the third job so this way uh, spark ui is very helpful in debugging the apache spark job you will learn you will see the each steps in the execution of the code the stages here then we have storage, environment, and executor details. Now I will show you 
So another example. Uh, the source code of this uh, hello world is here and I will provide you the URL for learning it in detail. Then uh, next thing uh, is the creating data frame from list. So data frame is uh, uh, in Spark is uh, basically represents the your relational database table like structure. So it has got uh, columns and rows. So later you will, uh, if you don't know about the data frame, so not an issue. Later I will teach you this as well. I am creating a list in Python using the Python code and uh, now we will create a data frame using this function as is part dot create data frame and it will take the list and the data type of the values inside it so data type is integer so we have given we have specified that integer type as a parameter So this uh, created the data frame and uh, uh, we can see the data by running the command, running the code uh, df dot. So, so this is going to display you the values inside the data. This will display you the values inside the data frame. And if you want to see the schema, you can use the print schema command so this is a schema and it has got one it has only one column named value and the data type is integer to check the number of rows you can simply to see the number of records into the data frame you can run df.count code and it will display the number of records inside the data frame so in this tutorial we have learned how to download apache spark 3.5.1 on ubuntu 22.04 extract it and then run the pyspark shell and use it for running the pyspark code thanks for watching the video and subscribe our channel